All right, guys, we're ready to assemble our multi-loop bow, and these are the only things that you're going to need. Of course, we have our 24 loops, and again, there is a very good possibility that we might not use all of these. Some of these, hopefully, will just be backups in case, you know, if we do accidentally break something. And then you're going to need your wire cutters to cut the wires, because we're not going to need them this long. You will need some floral tape, and floral tape, as many of you have uh, seen works very easily. You just stretch it and that releases the glue and it gets sticky and tacky in the back. Okay, here I have a custom made uh, wire rack that my father made for me and we will be using this to set our multi-loop bow on here once in a while. Your, your arms and hands will get a little bit tired so you might want to set it down once in a while and give yourself a little break and then also it helps us to see how full the bow is and see if we need to add any more loops. If you don't have something like this and you could just easily take a cardboard box and cut a little hole on the top and then you just insert the wires through the top and that'll hold up your bow as well. Okay. And since I am using a wire rack, I have just some padding here that I use and I cut a little hole in the center so that my wires can go through there. That way the bows are not directly touching the hard rack because I don't want them to accidentally break. So I just have kind of like a pillow here for them to rest comfortably. Okay, I'm gonna set this aside now and we're gonna start putting our bow together. And I have two different colors, so I will try my best to um, arrange them to where every other loop is every other color. I don't know if that made sense. So the wire here does bend pretty easily. When you bend your wire, you don't wanna bend it from here. You wanna hold the bottom of your loop and then bend if you have to but the first few ones we want to be pretty straight so i'm only going to bend this pink one just a tiny little bit okay tiny little bend there and i put that together okay and we will try to have the wire touching as much as possible then i'm going to grab another blue one bend it a little bit and put that there so basically it's kind of like arranging a bouquet it's not too not too difficult we need another pink one and you just do a slight bend right about there okay so that's going to be the top of my loop and you want to try to have all of the bottom of the loops pretty much the same height okay and remember once you wrap this uh, with floral tape, it's not the end of the world. You can still move them around a little bit if you have to. So the way that you add the floral tape is you just release them and then you give your tape a little stretch and that releases the glue. So the glue is back here. And then you just hold your wires tight. And as you are turning, you hold the tape in place. And what I like to do is just give it a good wrap, maybe six, seven times on the top before I start working my way down. And as I'm turning, I'm holding the wires together so that they don't separate on me. Like I said before, you don't need the entire length of the wire. This will be going into the cake so depending on the height of the cake, you can determine how long you want the wires to be. My client's cake is probably only gonna be about four or five inches tall, so I will start to cut some of the wire. And it's better to cut the wire when you only have a few wires together. You don't wanna wait until you assemble the entire bowl because then it's gonna be very difficult to cut each wire one by one. And you really don't wanna to try to cut several wires all at once. So I think that's enough to keep it together. And this tape is very easy to tear. You just tear it, tear it off, okay? And it is sticky, okay? So there's our first few loops. And for right now, I only wanna cut off, I would say maybe about here. And usually it's a good idea to have somebody hold the wire because when you cut this, it does go flying everywhere. 
Just be careful there's no people around that you don't accidentally stab them in the eye with this when you cut them. This is a dangerous profession, okay? So there's the first, the first loops. Now we want to add more loops to go in between the loops we already have. So we're going to need about one, two, three, four loops, maybe a little bit more. And again, depending on the colors that you're using, you know, don't worry about the arrangement of the colors. Since I'm using two different colors, I do kind of need to be careful where I place my loops. And your hands do get a little bit tired, so just stretch. Okay, all right, so I'm going to add a blue bow and again just give it a little bend. I'm going to put that right about there. Okay, I'm going to add a pink one here. And depending on how you add them, you'll know whether or not you need to bend them more. Okay, so that's going to go there. Pink one will go here. Add another blue one here. another pink one here and you can start working a little bit faster maybe one more pink so sometimes it does help to flip your bow over and let it hang rather than you holding it up okay so here I've got two next to each other I'm going to add the blue one here, blue, pink, blue, another pink one here, okay, and another blue one here, okay, so right now I'm just going to tape them together and then I can worry about how the bows are sitting as far as how they're in what direction they're pointing I'll worry about that later so, so first I'm going to tape this together and then I'm just going to grab my floral tape give it a good stretch to make sure the glue is released and make sure you're holding all of your bow or loops I should say and I'm going to just set it on here so that my arms don't get exhausted place very carefully and as you are turning your your bow make sure you are tightening and pulling on the tape so again I like to give it a good six seven turns on the top and then start wrapping working my way around I'm gonna get rid of this now This becomes easier the more you make multi-loop bows you'll get the hang of it it's a lot like arranging flower petals but a little bit more tedious so just work your way all the way down Okay, so there's part of my bow so far. And then you can pretty much tell where you have gaps and where you're gonna need to do some filling in. And we're still gonna probably add one more layer of loops underneath. 
okay? And I will actually cut some of my wires, the new ones, the same length as the ones that I cut before. So I'm gonna do that now and this probably will, will speed up the video. So a good way to do this is just to bend the wire and then you cut it or you don't need it anymore. Okay, so I'm gonna set my loop down just for now just to see how it looks so far. And we still have a lot more to add. Right now we only have about one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, like about nine or 10 of them. So as I'm turning this, I can see where I have some gaps. So I need to add one here, or you can just move it over, okay? And basically the way it sits here is the way it's gonna sit on your cake. So that'll give you a good indication of the size of your cake or how the loop's gonna look on your cake. So I still need to add one, two, three, okay? So I got blue, I need to add pink and another blue right here, okay? So you can see I've moved all of these together, so I need another pink and another blue one here. So I'm gonna go ahead and grab a pink and a blue. Okay, I'll hang it upside down. I need a pink one here and a blue one here. Get a slight bend. And as you notice, guys, I'm really not touching the loops at all where the gum paste is. You don't want to touch them because as you're working with this, your hands do get hot. Okay, the only time you want to touch it is when you do that one bend and that's it. Pink and blue. Okay, I'm gonna grab my tape. And my hands are pretty sticky already with this tape, so I need to be careful I don't make a mess. Pink and blue right there. Hold the tape in place. And then turn as you pull and tighten on the tape. Now again, guys, this is just my method that I've created on how to make a multi-loop bow. I've seen a lot of tutorials where people just make the bows without the wires, and then they just add a big, uh, giant blob of royal icing on top of the cake, and then they just start gluing them together with royal icing. That's definitely one way to do it, but since I'm shipping this bow, this is the way that I'm doing it. And plus, when I do cakes here for my clients, this is also the way that I do it. Okay, so I'm just going to tear my tape. Okay, I'm going to set that down just to see how it looks so far. Okay, that looks a little bit more complete. And again, we're going to add one more layer of loops at the bottom so we can move those okay and I'm gonna go ahead and cut the wire I don't need anymore and again an easy way to do it is you just bend it take your wire cutters make sure nobody's standing in front of you because this thing shoots out and this one I really don't need to bend it since it's sticking straight up And again, you can move these around and kind of fill in the gaps. Okay, so I'm gonna add probably one more layer of loops to the bottom here. Okay, that's looking really cute. Okay, 